We are also learning more tonight about a wild scene that left a woman dead outside a metro rail station here in Buffalo. Police say it involved a chase and gunshots were flying. Channel 2's Claudine Ewing has more. It's one of the busiest corners in the city, Maine and Utica. There was a shooting, a car accident, and the victim was somebody that many people know. Even if you didn't know her name, you knew her face. Her face even graced an album cover. Clara Gomez, known as Claire or Buffalo Claire, was a staple around the city. The 58 year old woman was killed Tuesday evening. Just terrible, just off the wrong place at the wrong time. That's all it was. Wrong place at the wrong time because, like I said, you would see Claire here, you would say Claire there. And the ironic thing is that she, we will call her West Side Claire or we will call her Cold Spring Claire, and it's like she passed right in the middle. At Maine and Utica. Buffalo police arrested 22 year old Marlon Severance Jr. of Buffalo. The DA says there was a car chase. It's believed Severance was firing a gun, and one of the cars went off the road, hitting Claire and the train station. He's charged with gun and reckless endangerment. There's possibly a manslaughter charge here, there's possibly a criminally negligent homicide charge here. Uh, so there are other charges out there that are possible. Her face was seen worldwide when Griselda used her picture on an album cover. On Twitter, Westside Gun called Claire, my fave Buffalo kid. You'll be loved forever. On his Instagram, there are pictures with Claire. Conway the Machine told me I definitely send my condolences to her family and loved ones for sure. It was no secret. Claire was dealing with drug addiction and mental health issues. The DA confirmed it. The victim uh, had a troubled life. Uh, the victim, you know, most people would characterize the victim as an outcast of society. Some might call her a menace. No one looked at her any different. We looked at her as another human being. Claudine Ewing, Channel 2 News.